Electroclash also known as synthcore, retro electro, tech pop, nouveau disco, and the new new wave is a genre of music that fuses 1980s electro, new wave and synth pop with 1990s techno, retro style electropop and electronic dance music. It emerged in the later 1990s and is often thought of as reaching its peak circa 2002–2003. It was pioneered by and associated with acts such as IF, Miss Kitten and the Hacker and Fisherspooner. Topic: <laughs> Terminology and Characteristics. The term electroclash describes a musical movement that combines synth pop, techno, punk and performance art. The genre was in reaction to the rigid formulations of techno music, putting an emphasis on song writing, showmanship and a sense of humor, described by The Guardian as one of the two most significant upheavals in recent dance music history. The visual aesthetic of Electroclash has been associated with the 1982 cult film Liquid Sky. DJ Hell is widely credited as inventor and namegiver of the genre, while DJ and promoter Larry T. later popularized the term in the U.S. by naming the Electroclash 2001 Festival in New York after it. Topic history Electroclash emerged at the end of the 1990s. It was pioneered by IF with his 1997 track Space Invaders Are Smoking Grass which, introducing old-fashioned verse-chorus dynamics to burbling electro in a vocoded homage to Atari-era high jinx, is the record widely credited with catalyzing the Electroclash movement, as well as French recording duo Miss Kitten and the Hacker who were setting and defining the Electroclash scene with the two anthems 1982 and Frank Sinatra which were first released in 1998 on DJ Hell's label International DJ Gigolo Records, which has been referred to to as the germ cell and the home of the Electroclash sound. Gigolo featured many of the early Electroclash songs, such as for example Christopher Just's I'm a Disco Dancer from 1997 or Chris Corder's Save the Planet, Kill Yourself, which originally even had been released as early as 1993. In the widely recognized film documentary Welcome to the Club. 25 years of electronic dance music by European Televine Network Art, Miss Kitten describes the origination of the first songs of the new style together with DJ Hell and declares him the inventor of the electroclash genre. The style was pursued by artists including Felix da Housecat, Peaches, Chicks on Speed, Fisherspooner and Toktok vs Sofio during their early years. Ladytron were sometimes labeled as electroclash, but others stated that they were not entirely electroclash and they also rejected this tag themselves. Goldfrapp's albums Black Cherry and Supernature incorporated Electroclash influences, as its early artists came from many countries. Electroclash is a movement that emerged internationally, but was scraped together and mentored by entrepreneurs such as label boss DJ Hell and promoter Larry T. Due to its trash and glamour factor, it became an urban phenomenon with its centers in Berlin, New York, London, and Munich, but the hype of Electroclash is said to have been over again by 2003. In the U.S. it came to media attention, when the Electroclash Festival was held in New York in October 2001 to make a local breakthrough with this scene, presenting a select group of superstar and pioneer artists from Europe and the U.S. The Electroclash Festival was held again in 2002 with subsequent live tours across the U.S. and Europe in 2003 and then 2004. Other notable artists who performed at the festivals and subsequent tours include, Scissor Sisters, Adult, Errol Alkin, Princess Superstar, Mignon, Mount Sims, Tiger and Spalding Rockwell. Criticism The Electroclash label and the hype around it have been fiercely criticized by some of its acclaimed protagonists in the early 2000s. For example, IF and other artists signed an anti electroclash manifest, where they complained about the sellout of the style by those who would rule the media waves and only sell the old freshly packaged. In 2002, Toktok vs. Sophie O stated that when they were first asked about electroclash, they just thought that, this is nothing else than what we know for at least five years and what is now reaching the recycling peak for the third or fourth time. See also List of Electroclash bands and artists <laughs>